Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. What's going on YouTube? This is Big Mike. Welcome to Big Mike's Movie Reviews. Today is Thursday, February 29th, not 28th because it's a leap year day. And I just got out of seeing my final film for the month of February, Ordinary Angels. This is based on a true story. It was directed by John Gunn and it stars Alan Richson and two-time Academy Award winner Hilary Swank. The film tells the story of a man named Ed Schmidt, played by Alan Richson, who, with this woman who is unfortunately an alcoholic named Sharon, Hillary Swank, his daughter needs a liver transplant badly. But due to mounting debt, as well as him being a single father, and her, Sharon, being an alcoholic, and trying to do something as a favor, but with Ed seeing it as just a way to give herself a pat on the back, while also with other things in his personal life making it more difficult to give his daughter a fighting chance. Through all of this, hope does emerge. Now, like I said, this is a true story. There's really nothing to spoil. Obviously, these filmmakers, John Gunn, the director in particular, is not going to make a movie where, despite everybody's best efforts, the little girl doesn't survive. This isn't they're not going to make a movie like that. So let it be clear. There's really nothing to spoil. I'm still not going to try to spoil certain plot elements. But this is a film where you understand what the destination is, but it's more about the journey getting to it. And I got to say, this film, it really tugs at your heartstrings very, very, very well. You know, I thought this was a very, very hopeful film. I thought everybody played their role very well. The little girl that's in the movie who plays, uh, as they sometimes call her, Butterfly. She does a really good job. And Alan Richson especially does a great job playing a man who is not only on the edge, but also having the real sense of being desperate because of all the turmoil that he's dealt with in his past life, as well as what's going on in the present. And it seems like all these things just keep continuously stopping him and his family from succeeding and when it comes to the subject of the young girl in the movie it seems the universe throws everything in the way of his path for the very slim chance of hope and the way things get turned around and the way that they get assisted it is some of the most hopeful things that really reminds you that there are still some good people left in this world Hilary Swank she does give a very good performance in the film she's probably not going to get nominated for an Oscar for it. She doesn't really go above and beyond. I mean, the film is PG rated. It's a not too hard of a PG. It's right on the cusp of being why it should be. You know, you do have, unfortunately, some scenes of her drinking. You have uh, some rather shocking scenes concerning what happens with the young girl and her condition in the film. And you do have some drama, but this is still a film that you can easily take the family to see. There's not a single use of bad language. There's no violence. There's no super intense moments or anything. But again, where it will get you in the heart especially is seeing how despite everything, everybody, even with the way things are these days, you know, just shows you that there's still good people left in the world. Now, the film does take place in 1993. It takes place from September 1993 to January 1994. I will say, you know, this is a nitpick. Yeah, a lot of the things from that era are not accurate. You'll see early on in the film when Hillary Swank is in a grocery store, a lot of the Coca-Cola products are of today. Behind her, out of focus, you'll see candies that have modern day logos. There's a a uh, beauty shop she works in that has a small CD player combined little, you know, boombox unit, which probably didn't come out until like the mid 2000s. But these are subtleties, people. Again, but me being the person I am, I just happen to notice them. But for what it's worth, these are not things that are going to take you out of the movie at all. But still, 
what will keep you invested is just, again, the prosperity of hope. And I really liked everything about this film. I'd seen it advertised for months now. I believe it was supposed to come out in Christmas of 2023. It got pushed all the way back to February 23rd. And, you know, I will tell you, if you are a fan of inspiring films, especially ones based on true stories, Ordinary Angels will give you everything you want and then some. This was truly an uplifting and heartwarming film. I'm glad it was the last thing I saw for the month of February. And if you're in the mood for such a good, solid, good time, I think this movie's going to do you just fine. And with that being said, I'm now going to assign my grade. Ordinary Angels has this on Rotten Tomatoes with an 88% and an, on IMDb with a solid 8. Me, I'm going to give this a solid A. This was a very good film, well made, even though it can drag its feet just a touch and does have some what feels like forced dramatic moments at times, it still doesn't detract from being a good film with a good message, and I really liked it. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching my review today of Ordinary Angels. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be sure to check out the trailer to Ordinary Angels, which is in the description link down below. If you like what you see in those two and a half minutes, stretch that out by an additional 118, and that's the movie that you're going to get. It does not pull the rug out from under you, but it doesn't lie about what it is in its advertising. And of course, I will also be doing my reviews a little bit later on. I saw two films yesterday on the 28th, Stop Motion and A Hip Hop Story. Don't worry, you'll be getting those reviews very, very soon, maybe tomorrow or later tonight. I just haven't had a chance to get around to doing it. As you guys know, I'm very busy and trying to earn what money I can to fix my car. So there you go. Well, all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching my reviews for the month of February thus far. And as always, I will see you at the movies. See you guys next week with some new ones for March. Bye now.